Gino, done. Eduardo, done. What else we got? Who knows? We're going to see. But this scratcher list, uh, the Diamondbacks are doing a great job at nailing all of the items on their to-do list this offseason. Uh, and they might not be done yet. One name, and I know a lot of you, a lot of you, and including Gambo, had to come in here and 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 jump all over this information. But uh, we did get word from a source that maybe the Diamondbacks are looking at Reese Hoskins as a potential fit for their team. Gambo just tweeted that out before we went live, but we have the ability to prove, I think, that we were on top of this because. We have a graphic made. Damon, throw that graphic up there. Let's take a look at Reese Hoskins' numbers from 2022 because he was out all of 2023 with a torn ACL. And when you look at some of these numbers, they look very close to a player the Diamondbacks are losing, a veteran player in Evan Longoria. So Reese could be that veteran right-handed bat that the Diamondbacks are seeking to replace Longo. Uh, He had a 246 average in 2022 with a 332 on-base percentage, 462 slugging. 30 home runs, 79 RBI, and a 2.3 F war, uh, and just some outstanding numbers uh, for for a guy that is available and could potentially fit a lot of the Diamondbacks' needs as far as again DH and and filling in in, in a backup role. Reese Hoskins is I I think just one of the one of the more fun players in base. Like I just think people like Reese Hoskins. He certainly yeah. was like people in Philly guy. loved him. Uh, the you know uh, the Phillies saying earlier this offseason that Bryce Harper was going to play first base for them, plus needing the DH spot for Kyle Schwarber. There's really no way that Reese Hoskins goes back to the Phillies. But yeah, Gambo just uh, just mentioned his name. Uh, you you mentioned it as well. There seems to be some level of interest here, and you can certainly understand why. These are some pretty solid numbers from Reese Hoskins in 2022, uh, prior to the whole torn ACL thing happening. Uh, 30 home runs, 79 RBI, 2.3 wins above replacement, a solid season across the board. I don't know if the Diamondbacks would want Reese Hoskins to play much first base, but the good news for them is that they would not really have to because they have the best defensive first baseman in the game and Christian Walker already. Um, So yeah, this would make a lot of sense. Hoskins could DH most of the time. He could back up Christian Walker at first base from time to time. There is obviously a bit of unknown here, given that Hoskins did not play at all in the 2023 season. Um, no, nothing? No, no win in on that one. Sorry. Okay. Sorry right. to interrupt your, your Reese Hoskins. I just need to give you an update on our Arizona Lottery scratcher ticket. You can you can see here why the Diamondbacks would be interested. Um, he is a Scott Boris client, so do with that information what you will. MLB Trade <laughs> Rumors has two years, $36 million which is a lot. He's I don't know high. if I could see the D-backs going that high He's on a guy high. who didn't play at all in 2023. Can you see anybody was... going that high? That seems like a risk. I mean, yeah, I, maybe maybe on a one-year deal with, again, with the, 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 the Magic deal, the one year with an option for a second year. But that seems like a lot to commit to a guy that you're still unsure of uh, how, how he's going to perform. Yeah, I would, I would think that if you were Hoskins, you wouldn't – you probably don't want too long of a deal because – you, I mean, if you come out and really and really look like prime Reese Hoskins in 2024, you You're probably want to be able to hit the market again and go like get some serious money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was like, he was really good. Uh, I mean, you look at his 2020 season, obviously that was shortened an 887 OPS in 2021. He had an 864 OPS. That 2022 season was actually a bit of a down year by his standards. He's been one of the better hitters in the game at his peak. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what it would take to your point. I don't think I see the Diamondbacks, maybe anyone going to two years and 36 million. Yeah, but there's an, there's an obvious fit here for sure for, for, for the D-backs. 